Hello again. Today we are going to build on uh, what we learned about the student t-test and we are going to calculate a two-sampled t-test and that is for comparing population means. So the six steps are exactly the same as if we just had one sample. We're going to state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. We're going to choose our significance level. We're going to calculate the test statistic t, or we're going to let the calculator do that for us. Uh, we are going to calculate a p-value using the calculator. And if I find that my p-value is less than my alpha, I am going to reject h0, my null hypothesis. And whether I accept that null hypothesis um, or not, I am going to write my conclusion in the context of the problem. So let's look at an example of how to do this where the statistics have already been calculated. I have a group of high school students that were given a questionnaire and we were determining the level of anxiety and stress of those high school students. The lower the score on the test, the more anxiety and stress they felt. So here are the uh, statistics that I found. I didn't give a whole list of the scores, but the males had a mean score of 20.6. The standard deviation was 11.7, .7, and the number of males that I uh, was giving the questionnaire to was 83. For the females, the uh, average score was 25, and the standard deviation was 13.8, and the number of females that were given the questionnaire was 91. All right, so I'm going to conduct a two-tailed hypothesis test uh, with a 5% significance level to determine whether high school males and females experience different levels of anxiety and stress or whether they are close enough to being the same. So the null hypothesis, uh, remember, is the situation where there's really no difference. So my null hypothesis is going to be that mu1 is going to equal mu2. In other words, there's really no difference between the average anxiety and stress experienced by high school males and high school females. So the alternative hypothesis is just the opposite of that, that they are not equal. Um, whether one is less or one is greater, um, I'm just saying that the alternative hypothesis is that they are not the same. All right, so our significance level, as usual, is 5%. Um, so alpha is going to be the decimal equivalent of that, which is 0.05. So now I calculate my test statistic T. Um, I really don't need to do this uh, simply because I know now that my calculator calculates it for me. So I allow that to happen. I'm also going to let my calculator calculate the P value by putting in the information. So here's how I do that. Again, from the main menu, I press two to go to statistics. I could enter a list of data if I had it, but I don't. All I have is the average standard deviation and the number of people that uh, were in each sample. So I press F3, which is test. There is the T test option right there for F2. And now notice I have two samples. So I'm not going to do a one sample T test. I'm doing a two sample T test. So that is F2 instead. And so now look at the information I'm being asked for. Um, I'm being asked for a comparison of mu1 and mu2, and I'm asked for the X bar standard deviation and number of people in each sample, and they're called one and two. So here's what I'm going to enter. The data is variable because I don't have a list. Um, mu1, I'm testing to see whether mu1 is not equal to mu2. Um, my X bar for the first sample was 20.6. My standard deviation was 11.7 and the number of people was 83. So that's from group one. For group two, X bar is 25.2. The standard deviation is 13.8 and the number of people was 91. So I have to put all of that in for both samples one and two. Pooled will be off. And when I do all of that and I press EXE, this is the information that I get. Uh, notice how my uh, T score was calculated and my P value is calculated and it's right there at 0 0.0185. All right, so I noticed that that P value of 0 0.0185 is less than 0 0.05, which was my alpha. So I'm going to reject my null hypothesis and accept my alternative hypothesis. So in context of the problem, because I'm accepting my alternative hypothesis, I am saying that there is a difference in how much anxiety and stress is experienced by high school males 
and females. So there's definitely a difference there. The averages for males and females is not the same. So that is how to do a two sample t-test uh, using your calculator. If you have any questions about that, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.